definitely like great way of popping at a disadvantage and getting their own fair share of attacks like i think if you sneak out of witch twist or side b you could probably get like a falling near into like forward air and stuff like that so it really depends on how they play advantage and disadvantage to be honest i think grounded neutral is sonic favorite but i think in terms of the air that's where bayo can kind of get their hand yeah i agree with you Sonic can get the, the neutral advantage here easily on the ground against Bayonetta. Bayonetta mostly gets hers off of like the fence. Like up at a shield or sometimes like some slight things on offense like doing the slides. Most of the slides really. Yeah for sure. Sonic's gonna be low profiling too with that spin dash charge. So Teiju has to time this a lot well. They you know, spring out of their combos. It's like very hard to hit, especially online. Oh, definitely. That makes it significantly Ooh, what a catch. A significant difference, like the Wi-Fi reaction base of it. You're not gonna be seeing that again until like another maybe 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the very one hit off off Sonic. <laughs> especially he's being that. Oh, there it is. Teju sets him at the right percent to kill him too, but Sonic Fiend doing a good job of maintaining this lead. Hopefully they don't throw it away by throwing out something really unsafe like this. Oh, oh my God, you almost die! <laughs> Look at me almost jinx my, the the players that turn in. Commentators curse, classic. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah, dying. About even percent. Let's see what Teju is gonna fish for here to take the stock off. This up tilt is a good choice. They confirm that they're back here. Yeah, so like definitely like I think at this percent, like you should condition shield with the the neutral B and then go for like a forward throw or something. Uh Sonic Fiend is actually doing a great job using the F tilt to, to set Bayonet off. The speed of this character allows him to get rifle advantage states by just mere presence. Good F smash. Dash back. Right there by the dash back uh, forward smash. No! You got so desperate. Yeah, why would you Jesus. smash to attack at the percent? I'd throw, honestly. I'd, I'd wait for something. I'd wait for anything and just throw there. It's just, nothing wrong with just simply waiting for an answer. Just blocking. Especially at that percent. Especially when the throw is not going to kill you. A solid combo game here from Tejus. Taking it to 70% real quick. That was a fr Ferocious combo. There was a little bit of lack of SDI, but I, I get it. It can be kind of hard to to like figure out what move to SDI because it's gonna be like a mix between side B's and wish twist. Alright, side B. Hey Jesus, to watch the buttons here. Don't wanna try to punish Sonic and then Sonic just whiff punishes you because they low profile it by spinning. <laughs> Nice. It's a counter. Stop throwing forward smash, please. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, if they got the Nair, they could have definitely done something crazy like a forward air or like a witch to a sword air or something. Yeah. I would have gone like crazy with it. I would have been like, <laughs> keep hitting him because he just happened to get knocked off the stage. I'm going to take this jump. <laughs> yeah, watching. so... Slowly go down. Yeah, so that play there, you saw like the up smash kill on the edge. I've seen that a lot more nowadays with the Sonics, ever since they got buffed. It got some uh, intangibility frames added to it. Oh. So uh, it's a really good move to use on the edge sometimes to clip. That's bat within. See what Tejus can do about the situation here to close up the stock. Same with Sonic Fiend. Both had some of decent percents, not near death, maybe more Sonic Fiend. Like one good interaction from Teju's off stage to take the stock off. Yeah, for sure. I'd imagine like I don't know the up tilt back air percent for Bayo, but I'd imagine this is close to it. Yeah, if you're like next to the ledge too. A little tiny taste of rage can make a difference here. Take the stock off. Make your tippers count, you know. Yeah, for sure. Right, oh, good man. dash backs from Sonic Fiend. It's a good patience for Sonic Fiend, but they threw it all away from doing that down air. Oh no. She has a counter. Look at the counter.
Okay, so what Sonic Fiend has to do in this matchup is take advantage of the positioning that they get against this character and throw. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of like throwing Teiju's timing off. Because this is what you have to do against characters with counters. Especially ones like Teiju's who, who like to throw out the counter whenever they, they, they can. They're not just throwing it out, they're just they're timing it against like Sonic Fiend's aggression, which is which is getting him killed, really. He's getting the stocks off too, don't get me wrong. But like it's like an on and off switch. You can't leave it on too long, you can't leave it you can't leave it off too long, you know. Your room's gonna get too dark. Yeah, so very solid stuff there from Tejus. Taking the set. I believe all the stocks were taken off by counter alone, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to notice that, too. Was it all just, like, which kind of kills? Counter plays, yeah. 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 Kind of yeah. crazy. Did a very good job. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. All right, game two. See if Tejus can close this out, or Sonic Fiend can bring it back. Three, two, Going to town in Smitty. One, go. Okay, so we're gonna go to town here. Um, I would say definitely like the most beneficial uh, states for Sonic here are, I think, the town and city uh, triplat state of the stage and the um, FD part of the town and city. Because I think in one instance you can camp platforms, and in another instance you can kind of just keep your distance and dash back. Um, and you can assert more pressure just because they can't retreat to platforms. So, I think these mm. two states of Town and City are definitely beneficial for Sonic. I think, however, when the platforms are on the side, I think Bayo might be able to benefit from that just because of Witch Twist. A slide. Uh, yeah, and the slide for sure. The slide is definitely heavily beneficial when the stage is like this. Yeah. Two just throwing them out there a little too often. They can though, they're up a stock. They can throw the stock away at this point. If any like mistakes happen to punish Sonic Fiend, they can get the world off of one exchange. So it's really good stuff on them. It's on Sonic Fiend to take advantage. Oh no. Okay, that was pretty bad. Oh, no. Yeah, they made it back, <gasps> but at the same time. Look oh! at... Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> oh, man, what a combo there from Tejus. This is, uh. I don't know. This, I was gonna say, this this looks like Smash 4 a little bit. Yeah. There's a reason why all the Bayo players are still here. <laughs> they are thriving in this game. That's why everyone telling you how weak she is in this game. She's so weak, she can still kill you off the side. Yeah, off like 10% or something, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that just ultimate characters are just a lot stronger than like... Previous like... Versions of Smash. Oh no, stage... Stage control, give it no. away. Oh! I'll take it to stock too! Oh Jesus, what damage. What damage. Oh, great adaptation with the afterburner kick though. To catch yeah. the DI. So, some you ain't going nowhere routes. Tejuice looking to take the set. Look, okay, they're just spamming, spamming uh, after burner kick a little bit. Okay. Rightfully so, because this is working on Sonic. Sonic, if he charged that smash attack too, like thinking they weren't going to get hit. Oh. Okay, I guess they decided to just go. All right, let me go to the losers. Understandably so. It's a, it's a hard comeback to make on Bayonetta. <laughs> Especially when things don't work guaranteed on the character with a counter like that. That was rough. And See you like, later. She didn't even need... It's funny, because Tejus didn't even need the counters that time around. But, like, just to think of it, like, they had it in the back pocket. They could have definitely, like, witch twisted and, like... I'm sorry, witch timed and done some similar stuff to game one. But they didn't even need that. They just needed pure, like, classic... Bayo combos and it sealed the deal.